What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Queen P, and I'm back with the mini vlog. And I'm about to show y'all how I start my days on Sundays. First, I drink my water, of course, but then, of course, I make my bed every day. This is not just for the cameras, y'all. I make my bed, literally. And I'm vibing. <laughs> I'm vibing some slow jams on Sundays, y'all. Sunday Fun Day is all about the old school music. You know, the real music that had real intention back in the day like I just really use that to release all the toxins from the week before and I'm getting ready for the brand new week so I start my you know my rejuvenations on Sunday I don't wait until Monday to you know refresh the week I start on Sundays to release everything that I was feeling <laughs> such a vibe y'all try it take the rap out and you know do a little bit of slow jam you know that feel good music so, yeah, y'all, it's very vital that you make your bed every day, especially if you're an entrepreneur. If you don't do this every day, try it. I guarantee you, because everybody everybody used to be asking me, like, why do you make your bed every day? But it's, it's really just, you know what I'm saying, give you that clean, crisp look. You're like, okay, I got that done. Now I'm about to move on to something, that, something else that I need to get done. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, don't knock it until you try it. But, yeah, this is my everyday morning routine. I get up, blast that music, especially on Sundays, though. And, you know, I just get to it and just release everything that I felt for the week. And, yeah, it's all done. It's looking good, looking good, period. <laughs> Next thing I do, y'all, is, of course, take a shower, brush my teeth, but then I wash my face. I do not use water on my face, y'all. I use this stuff called Garnier Micellar Water. It has changed the game on my face, y'all. My face be super glowy and just super pretty now. So, yeah. I switched over to that, so game changer. Next, you guys, I'm going to use my ponds, and this has been ancient, an uh, ancient gym. Uh, grandmas and everybody used to be using this back in the day, and it is really moisturizing. It's really thick, so you do not need a lot. So, yes, and it just keeps my face moisturized all day. And let me not, let no, let me add that it smells amazing. Yes. Sundays are feel-good days, so get up and move your body. Like, I'm telling y'all, create the vibes. Don't wait on the vibe. Create that vibe. So, yeah, it, this is part of removing all the toxins. Dancing in the kitchen while I'm cooking. <laughs> I'm never changing that. Like, I wake up every day, especially on Sundays, because it's like, all right, I'm trying to reset my week. So I'm about to, you know what I'm saying? I'm about to get up in here and move my body. <laughs> Absolutely, while I'm cooking my food. Yes, get it, Pete. Get it, girl. <laughs> Here's the end result with my coffee on the side with my eggs. That's something simple. Guys, I found this show called Uncoupled today, and it is amazing. If you're homophobic, please do not watch it. But if you've been through a breakup, please watch this, y'all. It was such therapy, so relatable. I cried. Let me know if you watch it, how you feel about it. It is so good. Oh, my God. PlayStation or Xbox? Let me tell y'all something. It's PlayStation gang for life. Gang, gang. I don't care if y'all love the Xbox, okay? I've literally had every console of PlayStation since it came out. And one of my favorite games used to be The Sims, y'all. And it still is. It's crazy. I'm 31 and I still love playing this game. Like, I built all these houses that I'm about to show y'all from ground up. Literally, everything in the house, I put in it. Like, I'm such an interior design lover, and that's why all my homes in real life have always been luxury. Like, oh my God, y'all. This is this game has literally set my real life up for success. And that sounds crazy to say, but I used to play this game when I was a little girl from sun to sundown. I'm not exaggerating. And the reason I used to love it so much is because you can literally create a real life situation on this game and literally take what you learn from this game and apply it to real life so I will always have a soft spot for the sims and it's just crazy like this game was so relatable to real life if you think about it because you had to figure out a way to you know what I'm saying make money they don't have money of course they have like the, the the cheat codes where you can put the cheat codes in and get a lot of money but if you really played the sims and you really a diehard fan of the sims you really used to play the game and really used to go to work and all that to make the money and all that so it just hit different okay I'm telling you so yeah y'all I'm showing y'all the house, you know, how I created all the levels of the house. And basically, I'm about to make her cook with her mom. And then I'm going to show y'all another house that I created. Now, the next one, this one has a family of four, I believe. And then the next house is um, on the beach. This house is in the desert. So, the next one, she's single with just her son. Yeah, so I just want to show y'all, you know, 
how I grew up and what I used to really be doing because I really used to be on this game. And let me know if you're a real life Sims lover and if you still play it or if you don't. How I used to make you feel back in the day because I'm trying to tell you this game is life changing. Like it really give you real life situations and how you really react in real life. I used to really apply what I used to do in the Sims in real life. So this is my next one, y'all. Oh my God, hold on. I got to pause and show. Do y'all see her body? Do y'all see the cuts in her abs? Listen, sis, is do y'all see that body? The booty is sitting. Like, I really created her as me. Like, this is what I really wanted to look like back in the day. Because you guys know that I used to be bigger before I lost all this weight. Like, I used to be bigger and I really used to want to look like this. And now that I really look like her, I feel like, you know what I'm saying? I really manifested that. But yeah, look at my house. Look at my house. If you guys don't know, my favorite color is red and black. So that living room is like legendary. I'm never changing that living room. Like I literally have a different Sims game for a different way I feel. So yeah, this house is like, oh my God, it's off the water. Like this is how I really will be living if I lived off the water. I really created this house as if I will be living in in real life. <laughs> y'all see how excited? Am I crazy for being this excited about this game? I'm just letting y'all know, man, my interior design is uh, pretty nice, if I must say. Let me know if you agree. If you don't, just keep it to yourself. Keep it to yourself because I'm real sensitive about my shit. <laughs> Look at that, y'all. Palm trees off the water. Like, you just see nothing but paradise, okay? Like, this is how I really like to live my life in real life. I got the jet skis. You know what I'm saying? Got the blow up. Blow up for them to relax out there. What am I saying? The blow up what? Y'all know what I'm trying to say. The blow up chairs out there on the water. Y'all get what I'm trying to say. But yeah, y'all, like, let me know how y'all feel about this house. This house is beautiful if you, if I might say so myself. You got the glass stairs, you know what I'm saying? I came through with the decorating. That's my little son right there. Well, that's her little son because I, you know what I'm saying, I never really wanted kids. I love kids, but I don't want none of my own. But, you know, I was just creating different, you know, lifestyles or whatever. So, yeah, y'all, I'm going to let y'all go ahead and watch this a little bit, see what I do. You know, she cooked for her son, and then I made her make her some food so yeah that's what y'all about to see and might i add that if your girl play the sims or if you a girl that do play the sims y'all some faithful women because first of all we ain't even have time to be outside we was too busy playing and creating lives on sims we ain't got time for you fellas or we ain't got time to be entertaining no other man besides the man we uh, was already dealing with or whatever because i know for a fact i was too busy okay <laughs> No, I'm just playing. I don't know. I don't know. That might be that might be some little truth in there though. Cause if your girl play the Sims, that's what she doing still. Cause when you call her later, what you doing? Nothing playing the Sims. Like <laughs> So while I'm playing a game and y'all watching me play, I wanna talk about mental health a little bit. Y'all know I'm always a little random on my vlogs about just random conversations because I tend to think a lot and I just love being able to talk to y'all about some of the stuff that's in my head so I can get it out of my own head. But um, it's just very important, you know, we're going through some, you know, crazy times right now. And I just want to shed light on everybody to, you know, just be positive and be very serious about removing things that are not meant to be in your life. Um, you know, I feel like, you know what I'm saying, things have been pretty heavy for me since August has started. But I kind of feel like it's a rebirth season for me. And I feel like I'm being tested to see if I'm ready to go to that next level. So if anybody else is experiencing that, you know, things are, you know, coming back from the past or, you know, you might, you know, have to make a hard decision. I want you to know that, you know what I'm saying, sit in it before you make your decision, but also make your next move your best move. Okay, that's all I got to say about that. I ain't going to dwell on it too much. Ooh, look at her. Sis is cut, okay? But y'all, on a serious note, though, take your mental health real serious and do not let nothing stand in your way. Go after everything. Hold on, hold on, because sis about to cut up on this jet ski. Oh, wait for it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Period. Okay, because I really do this in real life. That's how I really ride my jet skis. That's crazy. She was cutting up. <laughs> oh, my God, y'all. But, yeah, this is becoming to the end of me playing the game because I know y'all like, this girl really is watching, you know, really playing this game and thinking we want to see this. But you never know what people like to see. And, honestly, this is really one of my favorite games. So I had to share it with y'all because what? Like, 
The Sims is legendary for me. I don't know about y'all, but yeah. Thank y'all for watching it. <laughs> It's not a Sunday without a drink, y'all, so I'm going to end this vlog with me making a drink and making my Sunday dinner, okay? So I drink Tito's because Tito's has no sugar, and, you know, I don't like all that sugar no more. I have Minimade Zero Sugar. If you've never tried it, try it. You might not like it if you're a sugar fiend, and I also top it off with lemon. I use lemon and everything. I love lemons, y'all. Like, I am a fiend for lemons, and it really does purify your system, so you should try it. Cheers to y'all on this beautiful Sunday and for my Sunday dinner. Ooh, I'm going to eat like this on Sundays, y'all. So I have my salad with my catfish and my potatoes. Of course, the drink is already devoured because I was sipping while I was making my food. Um, I didn't show y'all me making my food this time, but yes. And look, listen, I'm dancing all the time when I eat my food, like period. But thank you all so much for watching this vlog, y'all. And like I always say, I will always try to bring you the best content, but I'll always be myself. Bye.